Titan is undoubtedly one of the most exciting moons in our solar system. However, it's not only its imposing dimensions that make Saturn's galactic companion so interesting. Rather, it is the equally numerous and amazing natural spectacles on and above Titan that make the moon the focus of scientific interest. In fact, a few months ago, a fascinating entry was added to the list of breathtaking Titan discoveries. What NASA's renowned scientists stumbled upon and what galactic spectacles are taking place on Saturn's moon beyond that, we will reveal in the following video. Are you excited about the mysteries and groundbreaking discoveries of the universe? Then subscribe to our channel and stay up to date. If you enjoy the content of our posts, we would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. At the end of our video today, feel free to click on the images in the credits that link to more exciting videos. Titan, one of the most fascinating moons of our planetary system. Just the origin of Titan's name alone makes clear that Saturn's moon is an extraordinary celestial body. With its impressive equatorial diameter of 3,200 miles, this natural satellite was quite rightly named after the legendary god of Greek mythology. In terms of size, the satellite is only beaten by Jupiter's moon Ganymede, which has a diameter of about 3,270 miles. From a scientific point of view, Titan is classified as one of the icy moons. As that classification suggests, this means that the surface of the moon is adorned by a thick layer of water ice particles. The Voyager and Cassini-Huygens missions have significantly increased our knowledge of Saturn's largest moon. We now know that the dense atmosphere of the satellite is mainly composed of nitrogen. Not only the diameter, but also the sheer mass of Titan fascinates us. Specifically, the icy moon alone has 95% of the total mass of all 82 known moons of Saturn. Particularly remarkable is the assumption that under the massive icy surface of the moon, there could be a huge ocean of liquid water. The frozen outer shell of the celestial body is adorned not only by numerous dunes, but also by unique methane lakes and rivers. But cryovolcanism on Titan has always been one of the most exciting fields of research for terrestrial experts. In contrast to volcanoes on Earth, cryovolcanic activities do not eject lava and ash, but mainly ammonia and water onto the lunar surface. So while we've already been able to gather some groundbreaking information about the nature of Saturn's moon, a recent announcement from the ranks of NASA made the headlines in particular. Here, researchers did not focus on the surface of the moon, but took a closer look at the atmosphere of Saturn's satellite. The conclusions that could be drawn from this discovery represent a true galactic milestone. The previously unknown molecule in Titan's atmosphere. At first glance, the news that NASA experts have stumbled upon a previously unknown molecule in the atmosphere of the icy moon does not necessarily seem sensational. However, if you consider what the existence of the found compound could actually mean, it becomes clear why the employees of the renowned space agency were so amazed. The molecules in question are known among experts as cyclopropanilidine. According to researchers, they are nothing less than the hypothetical precursor molecule for the development of life. With the help of the ALMA radio telescope in Chile, researchers finally scored a major galactic victory. After studying the spectra of some light signatures in Titan's atmosphere, the researchers realized from the information they had gathered that there was no doubt that cyclopropanilidine was present in the surrounding gas envelope of the icy moon. Previously, none of the researchers had expected to find this unique chemical compound in Titan's atmosphere of all places. It's true that cyclopropanilidine, whose chemical formula is C3H2, 
has already been detected in the past in some corners of our planetary system. However, the fact that the molecules were located in the atmosphere of a celestial body was an unprecedented sensation. This is because C3H2 normally combines very readily with other chemical elements and is subsequently no longer present in its original form. Previous galactic C3H2 discoveries originate exclusively from dust and gas clouds, in which chemical reactions are extremely limited due to the adverse conditions. Preliminary stage of life? The atmospheres of moons and planets are well known for the fact that the most diverse chemical activities take place in them. For this reason, scientists were all the more astonished when they discovered the C3H2 molecules in their untouched form. Specifically, this chemical sensation is located in the uppermost layers of Titan's atmosphere, where naturally, significantly fewer substances mix together than in the areas below. Why exactly cyclopropanilidine exists in the atmosphere of the icy moon, while it does not appear in any of the other atmospheres studied, is still a great cosmic mystery. Titan has long been considered by researchers to be one of the most promising candidates when it comes to the question of life-enabling conditions. As part of further research, terrestrial scientists now want to investigate the extent to which molecules from the atmosphere could reach the surface of the moon. They also want to investigate whether the chemical elements might be able to penetrate the thick layer of ice on the lunar surface and then reach the depths of the subterranean ocean. Indeed, experts see many parallels between the current composition of Saturn's moon and the Earth in its earliest stages. According to them, it's possible that the C3H2 molecules contain the same chemical building blocks that once gave rise to life on our blue home planet. Actual conditions on Titan could be further clarified within just a few years. After all, NASA is planning to explore the breathtaking satellite in greater detail as part of a large-scale space mission. The Dragonfly Mission The Dragonfly mission was launched to take a closer look at Saturn's moon. This is a NASA space project where an unmanned dragonfly probe is to leave our blue home planet in 2027 and ultimately land on Titan's surface after a flight lasting many years. In the process, highly complex equipment will not only collect important data regarding the moon's atmosphere, but also, if possible, get as close as can be to the fascinating methane lakes. The question of whether the existence of life on Titan is possible and even whether some preliminary stages of this development have already been reached, is at the heart of this elaborate mission, which is expected to last until at least 2036. Violent Storms in Titan's Troposphere As we mentioned at the outset, the breathtaking C3H2 discovery in Titan's atmosphere is not the only groundbreaking discovery to be recorded from Saturn's moon. Data collected by the Huygens spacecraft have revealed that Titan's troposphere is subject to unparalleled storms. These storms reach peak speeds of 267 miles per hour in the lowest atmospheric layer. Particularly remarkable is the fact that the storms become weaker and weaker the closer one approaches the surface of the moon. However, it's not the case that windless conditions would therefore prevail on the surface of the moon. The NASA probe Cassini discovered gigantic dust storms on the surface of the galactic satellite. Over the course of its mission, three dust storms were recorded, covering areas of 112,000 to 261,000 square miles. However, these violent drifts which drew their material from Titan's dust dunes, subsided after just a few hours or days. The Mystery of the Methane Lakes There are numerous methane lakes and rivers on the surface of this moon, 
So the question quickly arises as to the origin of these fascinating formations. It is assumed that these areas of liquid hydrocarbons are the result of methane accumulation. Scientists came to this conclusion when they observed the areas around the south pole of the Moon as part of the Cassini mission. After the corresponding regions were covered by dense clouds over longer periods of time, new methane lakes could later be located in the said areas. However, the methane rain also poses a great mystery to scientists. The liquid methane on Titan's surface is simply not sufficient to maintain rain cycles over a longer period of time. For this reason, researchers suspect that there are gigantic methane reservoirs beneath the lunar surface that have yet to be discovered. The Haze of Titan As we can easily see from images of Titan, the entire lunar surface is covered by a shimmering orange, fog-like haze. Until the Cassini-Huygens mission, however, no one could say with certainty whether this hazy veil actually extended to the surface of Saturn's moon. With the help of the collected data, this mystery was solved once and for all. The measurements showed that the galactic haze does indeed extend to the solid outer surface of the moon. Even more astonishing, depending on the time of year, this all-enveloping veil of haze rises and falls by up to 90 miles. The corresponding time spans on Titan are significantly longer than on Earth. After all, it takes about 30 years before Saturn, and thus also its galactic satellite, to have rotated once around the Sun. Whether this leads to the fact that the unique haze wall moves regularly still has to be clarified in the future. Currently, experts assume that this amazing phenomenon is to be attributed to seasonally conditioned current changes in Titan's atmosphere. What do you think about the sensational discovery from Titan's atmosphere? Just write us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback about our video in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.